California tonight on the verge of economic chaos. Governor Schwarzenegger plans deep cuts in that state's budget. There is outrage at the governor's proposal to sell off some state landmarks, including the Los Angeles, Colise Los Angeles Coliseum site of the 1984 Summer Olympics. County officials say the governor can't sell that coliseum because the state doesn't own it. There is also outrage that the state schools could lose billions of dollars and thousands of teachers' jobs. Casey Wyan reports. Dozens of Los Angeles teachers were arrested Friday while protesting the threat of tens of thousands of education layoffs because of the state's budget deficit. Hey, hey, reform at LA! Parents also held a rally while the governor was receiving an honorary degree from USC. Arnold Schwarzenegger, doctor of humane letters. I love it. He plans to cut at least $3 billion from public schools, or $5.4 billion if voters reject a package of budget reform measures Tuesday. Other proposals include a seven-and-a-half-day reduction in the school year and larger class sizes. We just really feel that this is an injustice to the kids, to society, really. Also on the table, withholding $2 billion from local governments and dramatic reductions in social services including cutting off nearly a quarter of a million children from state-funded health insurance and eliminating drug treatment programs. I understand that these cuts are very painful and they affect real lives. This is the harsh reality and the crisis that we face. But critics say some of the governor's plans are not based in reality, such as selling off state assets, including the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Local officials say the state doesn't have the authority to sell the stadium. And because it's a historic monument, the governor has exaggerated its monetary value. I think uh, somebody up in Sacramento decided that uh, the way to generate support for the ballot measures on next Tuesday's ballot uh, was to scare the hell out of uh, the voters. And uh, instead of scaring the hell out of the voters, I think they're angering the voters. Tax increases also are part of the plan. If the polls are correct, and these packages, uh, this package of reforms goes down in a big way, maybe that will be the two-by-four upside the head that will finally get these people to recognize voters are taxed to death, highest taxes in America, poor level of service, they've got to start taking care of the state's business. Schwarzenegger plans to ask the Obama administration for a waiver allowing deep spending cuts without jeopardizing federal stimulus money. California is banking on $31 billion from the federal government to help solve its financial crisis. Part of the governor's plan includes shifting tens of thousands of illegal alien inmates from state to federal custody. Immigration and Customs Enforcement says it would be inappropriate to speculate about the governor's future actions. Lou. Is it appropriate to speculate about what will happen to that $7 billion in stimulus money uh, if the state does not rescind the cuts to the wages? of the state health care workers who are members of the Service Employees Union. That is the threat, of course, from the Obama administration. And that's up to the Obama administration, and who knows, it could be ultimately settled by the courts. Governor Schwarzenegger says he's going to apply for a waiver of those federal restrictions. We're just going to have to see how the administration responds, Lou. All right, Casey, thank you very much. Casey Wine from Los Angeles. General Motors saying it will close a 